And I'm going to give you three questions that you need to ask your recruiter right now before you sign that dotted line. Hey, welcome to the channel, friends. As always, man, I am stoked to see you. So I want to talk to you about what your recruiter is not going to tell you and what you need to ask your recruiter to get to the bottom of some of the questions that you don't even know to ask yet. Right, so this channel is all about how to prepare you for excellence in the United States military, specifically the Army. If that's what you're into, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, that way you can stay up to date on some future content. And if you happen to enjoy this one, make sure you give it the big old thumbs up like button, right? Mash that thing. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've talked to a couple recruiters over the years, uh, and I know a few things and there's still a lot that I, that I don't know about how you know, re recruiters work and how MEPS works in this whole interaction. But I do want to give you a few things that you can put in your kit bag if you're going to go down and talk to the recruiter um, and, and then make sure you can ask them because we don't, we don't know what to ask sometimes. Right, so ultimately, you need to think about what it is that you're looking to get after the military and that'll help shape the questions that you need to ask. So if you're looking for things like maybe I want to explore the world, right? Which is a lot of reasons why a lot of people want to come into the military. They want to, they want to explore the world. They want to go places that they haven't been. And uh, they say, you know, hey, we have this awesome job for you. And say like, awesome. What are the biggest duty stations where I'm most likely to get assigned to? Hmm. Right, just because there are duty assignments and posts all over the world, that doesn't mean that it's easy to get to. So you need to know what are, what are the places that you're most likely to get to, right? So approach from that direction. And they can, you, this is easily accessible information uh, if you're in the military, because you can find every MTO position. Won't tell you if it's open, but you at least know where the positions are. If you're looking for things like a career in the military, then maybe you should ask questions like, how many positions are there? How, how tight is this pyramid? Because every MOS pyramids, right? You got E1s, and there's a bunch of them. E2s, a little bit smaller, but not much. And when you start getting E5s, a little bit smaller. E6, a little bit smaller. E7, E8, E9, really small. Now some MOS is pyramid, and, and, but their pyramid is nice and there's a lot of room up at the top, right? Things like, you know, medical MOSs, some of them, uh, infantry, communications, you know, and a few others, I suppose. But, you know, there's a lot out there. It may sound like a hot diggity dog MOS to get into. It may come with a little bit of money, but that's all on the, on the short end, on the front end. You need to know long term. What are you getting ready to get yourself into? Another really good question to ask your recruiter is about promotions uh, going on the way. Just because you're, <laughs> look, you know, uh, recruiters have a, they, they have slots that they need to fill, right? Because the Army says these are the hot MOSs. We used to call them star MOSs. These, these are the ones that are pry filled right now. And these are the ones that the recruiters are going to try to fill up first. Now, a lot of times these come with a bonus, a little bit of money if you scored right on the ASVAB. It's like, hey, here's a job for you, right? Let's see if we can't get you locked in. And it may sound great. But if the promotion points to E5 or 798, it means you're never going to get promoted, ever. So you got to figure out what it is that you're looking for. Short term, bang for the buck, or not even long term, right? Dude, trying to get promoted to E5, that, that's not even long term goal. So it's a really good question to ask. And all you have to do is just, you know, look at a trend report. Recruiters can open up that one too. Hey, just a couple, three questions that you can ask your recruiter right now in order to get some information that may help you along the way. If you enjoyed the content of the video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you can stay up to date on some future content. And until then, man, you guys, you stay out there and you keep grinding.